another good morning to everybody here. <laughs> morning, guys. We are on our way to Virginia Beach, and um, yeah, the actual like Virginia, Virginia Beach, Beach Beach, yeah, oceanfront boardwalk area. Yeah, actually, to the Rudy Inlet. Yeah. Um, because we're gonna go ride a rocket today. <laughs> <laughs> It's the um, the Rudy rocket since it's the Rudy Inlet, but it's basically like a speedboat, kind of yeah. like what we did in 2018 on the um, in Cozumel. It's but twister. yeah, but yeah. it doesn't do twist. But no, it's more just like a, a little bit watch. of a more adventurous dolphin watch mm -hmm. thing. But it's it's not super fast. It's, no, but it's fun. Yeah, we've done it before years ago. Yeah, but we just wanted to take you guys along for the ride with that. We were gonna do a Sunday, but the water was a little bit too choppy on yeah, Sunday. Can't. So yeah, Sunday was actually supposed to be their last day for the season, for the season for right? The year. But uh, because the water was so rough over the weekend, they decided to do it today. Yes, yeah, so I think it should be one of the last. I think they got two two times today, and it's, mm -hmm. they're done for the year. So yeah, yeah. So we got twelve o'clock launch basically. <laughs> so. Hang on for the ride to the Rudy Rocket, and at least we have the GoPro with us so we can share the experience. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where else the day is gonna lead. I don't have a lunch plan. No. Still, they keep telling us every day it's gonna be sunny, and we haven't seen a lot of sun yet. No. It's overcast again. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. But at least yeah. it's warming up a little. Yeah. All right. We will see you guys on the ship. Or no, this would actually be a boat. It would be classified as a ball. <laughs> That's fun. We used to yeah. do it all the time back when we came here years ago. Yeah. But, uh, it's just nice to be on the water and yeah. you might see some dolphins, Absolutely. maybe. That's cool. <laughs> Up towards the lighthouses, you get to see the lighthouses. Yeah. So, be one of your highlights. Cape Henry. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, since um, we were not able to get to the lighthouses, they're only open during the weekends and you can't climb it obviously with everything going on, but yeah. I just get to see them from afar. Yep. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get ourselves strapped in here, get ourselves ready because you know what? Safety first. <laughs> and we'll get you on the water. All righty, guys. Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome everybody aboard the Rudy Rocket. How's everybody doing today? Good, good. That's what I like to hear. If you have any questions this afternoon about Colorado me or West, I will come more than happy to help you any way that we can. Due to Coast Guard regulations, I am required to inform everybody of location of life-saving equipment. You all have life jackets underneath your seat. If you have never had to pull these out before, let's not use them for the first time here today. Everybody can sit back, relax, and enjoy your ride. Uh, for the first part of our trip, guys, it's going to be a bouncy. I'm told everyone in the box, it's going to be a bouncy, fun ride. We are going really fast, and we are going to get wet, all right? That's how good, everybody. Uh, for the first part of our trip, we're going to head on up north to go find those dolphins. As we are going full speed, it is very important to stay seated. Uh, when we do catch up to the dolphins at that point, we'll slow the boat down, then you're allowed to stay up try to get a better view. Uh, but please stay seated as we are going full speed. Also, up here towards the front of the boat, it is going to be bouncier up here on the front of the boat. A lot of fun, but bouncier up here on the front. If you have heart problems, back problems, chest problems, may be pregnant, we recommend you sit towards the back of the boat. It's a lot of fun to bounce here up here on the front. Uh, that being said, everybody on the front half feel comfortable up towards the front. Yes, yes, everybody ready to have some fun? Yeah. Yes, all right. Everybody keep your hands and feet tucked inside the boat for the next 30 oh, seconds.
so I'm gonna put you guys away from camp because my phone used to go pro. <laughs> Making on the back of the boat. Every once in a while, these yeah, look, look, look backwards, look backwards to the right. Yeah, we call it wake riding. Yeah, sometimes they'll come out of the back of the boat. Like I said, they like to body surf. Same way us humans will surf with the surfboard, kind of getting a free ride in the big wave. Yeah, everybody look back. You're really, really close right here. That's in five yards off the back of the boat. Now we might pick up a couple on the other side of the time. Bunch of those. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can get a good idea how big some of them really are when they jump all the way out of the water like this. However, in 1870, they found a crack in the sandstone lighthouse after they discovered the crack. Uh, they began construction on the black and white one right there in front of me. Yeah, it's been good so far. Yeah. 
We hope everybody enjoyed that shower. Definitely was a really fun day for a rocket ride. Those dolphins were awesome as well. So I do hope everybody got those of those dolphins surfing the wink like that. On behalf of myself, Kent West Reef Tours, want to thank everybody for joining us this afternoon. Uh, but now as we are headed on back to the inlet, guys, as we're back in the boat into the slip, if, well, if, ugh, everybody will keep your hands and feet tucked back inside the boat just as we're backing in there. In case we rub in those pylons of the way and don't want to pinch any fingers. Uh, once we do get parked up and tied up, I'll have your souvenir pictures printed out and ready for you if I took one of you back there on the dock. Uh, we sell them for $9 if you like how they turned out, but those pictures will be waiting for you on the dock, so definitely check them out on your way out. Uh, another than that, guys, as you are departing us here this afternoon, please keep in mind that your two crew members on board here today, myself and old Captain Wes, uh, we do work for tips, guys, and we do work really hard to make sure your trip's more enjoyable and more informative. If you did have a good ride, please make sure you look out for us too as you're exiting the boat. Uh, but again, just want to thank everybody for coming out here today. Hope you all have a good rest of your stay here in Virginia Beach. Stay safe and come back and see you.
It was fun. We got wet. Yeah. Wetter than normal. Was <laughs> waiting getting a little higher, but, but that's that was a lot good of time. fun though. Yeah, it's always fun. Yeah. If you guys are in Virginia Beach ever, check it out. Definitely. Great way to spend an hour a little bit and see some dolphins and have a lot of fun. Yep. Or if you want something a little bit calmer, they do have regular dolphin tours. But right, right. But what's the point? <laughs> no, was, actually, I think that would have been worse today with yeah. the slower boat with the rolling of the water. Yeah. So, but no, it was a good time. Yes. Uh, so, what's the plan? Lunch? Yeah. I just don't know where though. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to decide if we want to grab something to eat while we're here or if we're just going to go back and go to the beach. So, you guys don't know before us because yeah. you guys are going to know like in a second. Yeah. We're going to discuss it for 10 minutes <laughs> probably. And and, so. and, and, hmm, and yeah, what do you want? Yeah. I don't care. Well, what? It. Yeah. So, all right, guys, it was a lot of fun, and uh, let's see where we end up. Looks like there's a couple. Yeah. Well, I guess we ended up at Rudy's. <laughs> yeah, it was close. It's yeah. right next door, so. Yeah. And we're hungry. Yes. <laughs> and just one thing I noticed: glider dining time limit is two hours. Right above your head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they're pretty neat. Little glider tables. And we got a nice view by the boats. Alright, I got a Rudy burger, which has a fried egg on top. And you got a buffalo chicken burger. That's a shock. Shock. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna dig in. And I think after that, we're gonna go to the beach and chill. Since it's kind of a half decent day today, so we want to enjoy this one last beach day basically before we go back home. Maybe there is. <laughs> Back on the beach, although we've been here like an hour and a half already, but figured you've seen the beach before with us the last few days. <laughs> but figured we're about to uh, feed some of the birds again. We have some leftover like taco shells and taco wraps that we need to get rid of, so we're gonna feed the birds again. Yay! Back of the birds. Like steel taco shells? Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> Angry sounds they make. I'll take care of this one. Oh, that one stole that one. On this one? Yeah. All right. We're off the beach. We had to return our, um, we rented a couple chairs and an umbrella, so we already did that. But now we're on our way to take a guess. I guess where we're going. <laughs> going to another brewery, but this is Young Veterans Brewing Company. So we're just about there right Keep now. To Dan Deck Road. I love GPS. <laughs> Interrupting me. All right, we're there in a little bit, and we will see you there. Turn right. Then at the roundabout, continue straight on Taylor Farm Road. Ah, oh, those dang roundabouts. My mistake, we're going to this River Beach first, then we'll go to Young Veterans next. So, we're gonna have River Beach. Looks pretty nice. 
They got kegs for tables. Looks like it'd be a cool place. I got burned a prey, which is a sour beer. And I can't remember the name that he got. It's a funky name, I think. Hold that thought. I'll find the name. Torito. Torito. Peaches and blueberries. Yeah. But both are, both are very good. One brewery done, another one to go here. Just getting the Young Veterans Brewing Company. I got the uh, Korean Tepang Ghost. And you got the pineapple grenade, right? Yep. Both look good. We finally made it to that flip pop um, chill and grill, I believe it's called, but we were the one that we were supposed to go to, but they were closed. We're finally here. <laughs> we just ordered a couple of orders of wings and I ordered some chips, chorizo, queso dip. Sounded good. And what did you order? Buffalo chicken flatbread. And wings. Or barbecue chicken flatbread. Yeah, and I think you order wings too. Yep. And when it comes out, we'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh, wings are here. And here's my chips with the queso. And your flatbread. Uh -huh. Looks good. It's good. The next morning. It's the next morning. <laughs> they were close to go again last night. But today's the day we're going back home. But it really has been a fun trip. Uh, this whole trip, I've seen two sunrises. It's been cloudy and yucky every morning, so. But I'm going to incorporate to last, well, depending on how the editing goes, either yesterday or last night into today. Just kind of combine the two. Um, but we're going to leave here probably within the next hour and head back north for the next seven and a half hours. Ooh. <laughs> and I'll just take some uh, video and sights along the way. Um, then we'll go pick up the old man. And we have actually did our plans with friends tonight, so <laughs> it'd be a busy day. <laughs> but I just wanna pop in, kind of recap, and we'll check you in the next clip. Same driving right there. Yeah. What, eight hours? Yeah. Something? About. Yeah, I think it was about eight hours until we get home. Yeah, I got 
little hung up in Delaware for a little bit, but. Yeah, traffic on 95, which is always a nightmare, but yeah. there was an accident on top of it, so. Yeah, yeah that's where we help. lost most of our time. Yeah. <laughs> but it's to be expected through there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we got home safely, that's what mattered most. Yeah. Put everything away, and now we're going to get the boy. <laughs> yeah, we'll pick Tucker up and get him home so he can relax. Mm -hmm. and, uh, We'll all unwind a little bit, but yep. I just have to see the old man again. Yeah. After seeing all the the puppies on the beaches and the breweries, like, oh. <laughs> just hope lame that he's happy to see us and not being grumpy old man, wondering why we left him alone. Not alone, but yeah. left him for five days. Did okay. Yeah. We did get daily daily texts from our his caretaker, so. Which is also his groomer, so. But, all right, let's go grab the boy. Dog has been acquired. <laughs> you ready to go home, Bobby? <laughs> don't, he'll sleep for two days, yeah. though. Yeah. yeah, but he always has fun at on shells, though. Yeah, <laughs> no, he'll sleep for two days. <laughs> Since everybody's all together, we're gonna close it out, I think. Yeah. But we had a great time. It could have been temperature wise, could have been a little warmer, a little bit more enjoyable beach time, but. Yeah, but you can't control the weather. Nope. I mean, that's one thing I don't know, I always try and. You can control a lot of things, but the weather you just have to deal with to make mm -hmm. the best of it. So, yeah. and I think we did. Yeah. There's a few fun things like the Rudy Rocket and. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun to get back to Virginia Beach and the Sandbridge area and just have to not being there in so many years and right. it still felt like home still felt comfortable being there so um, just hopefully we get cruising again here soon and, uh... but I do want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to our little Sandbridge Virginia Beach vlog series and please consider subscribing to the channel hopefully we have more fun stuff along the way here <laughs> and please consider um we do have a Facebook group. All links are down below if you want to check out up to date um, what we're doing, activities, and whatnot, shenanigans. Right. <laughs> but we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys. <laughs>